I would say definitely yes. I think it's never too late to take up teen sports. Just blanket answer. It's a great idea to get back into full on sports when you're 40 or when you're 50 or when you're 80. Get out of the idea is that it's got to be perfect. I'm only going to go back and play sport when I'm fit. I'm only going to do it when the kids are here or when it's that just go, just start to do it. That's you just talking yourself around in circles. If there hasn't been any exercise prior to wanting to then play sport the next year, then you would want to take it slow. Because you can't repair like you did when you were younger, you've got to take it a little bit careful in a sense of, right, if I, my sport, which is hockey, involves sprinting and running and turning and agility work, then when was the last time you did that? You can't lie to yourself. When you want to be able to join up and you want to do something like team sports in your 40s and you want to make sure that you are doing something for your body that is healthy, that does have the social interaction to it, you've got to be really, really honest to yourself as into why you're doing it. You want to start with walking, building up your walking to walking, running, um, just slow steps. Because if you go from zero to hopping in a Ferrari and going flat out straight away, something's going to break along the way. So I would advise those who are looking to get back into sport to begin some interval-based training. And you want to build from body weight exercises like your squats, your lunges, some core work, to building up to more dynamic movements, so more of your jumping squats or your jumping lunges. You might move towards that close to your game day. Going for a walk, going for a bike ride, playing with your kids, that's all part of getting a healthier body and getting yourself prepared to get back into sport. You're going to be sore for probably the first, oh I don't know, 18 days of the 21 days that it's going to take the habit to get it, but that's only four games, three games, you'll be right. Nothing like a good salt bath. Three main things to think about in preventing yourself having an injury when returning to sport if you haven't played it for a long time. Uh, firstly, you want to build up the cardio fitness. So sports like hockey and your listed soccer, um, so much running involved. If you fatigue and your energy is not there, then your muscles and joints are going to take the load and stress, and then they're more likely to injure, strain, um, pull, etc. And there's nothing like pulling a hammy at your game on Saturday kind of gets you out of doing all of the jobs that week. Usually when you hit your 40s, uh, knees and hips and shoulders be become more of an, of an area that's um, predominantly injured. So building up cardio fitness is really important, building up running or using a bike or swimming, things that improve your cardio. But you also want to pick movements that are similar to the sport. There's other great tips you can do for recovery as you get older as well. You know, having some cold showers, contrast bathing, it's great when it's cold. Cold, hot, cold, hot, some of those things to accelerate the blood flow, get the recovery sped up, um, as well as the benefits of stretching, yoga, um, Pilates, all those things are very important. They all form, uh, I guess, a toolbox of activities that's going to help you, you know, keep your, keep your age. Um, and then the third final thing, which we all know is important, is a good warm-up. They talk about dynamics, so movement stretches being the main way to warm up for your sport. You know what the really cool thing about it is? You don't have to worry about that really awkwardness. Like, you know, when you go to a networking event or something like that, and you walk in and you're the new person and you're like, hi, my name is, by the time you've all like, what position do you play? What are you here for? How long has it been since you played the sport? We're on the field, we're right to go. And before you know it, you've just got an instant crew of people. I think one of the benefits of um, having sport in more my life is that I've had moments where I've walked into clubs and I haven't known a single soul. You just say hello to somebody, you've met a new friend, and then they introduce you to someone else, and all of a sudden you've got this great pop-up group of friends. I, I think it's really important for someone turning 40 or over 40 to be open to playing any sports. I think it's important for um, their fitness, it's a time where they're likely to drop off, lose engagement in activity and movement and it's a lot of time where their health is likely to take a dip, whereas if they engage themselves in activities and team sports, their motivation for activity will increase, their general health will increase. See, motivation's tricky because it comes and it goes, you get it in waves, like one minute, that's it, I'm going to go out and play team sport and it's not hard to get distracted from it. So once you actually make a really big commitment to understand why you want to go out and do something, and trust me, it's really common in your 40s and 50s, 
It's actually, people start doing things they've always wanted to do. Maybe the kids are growing up or commitments have changed and you're actually thinking about you for the first time. You're actually thinking about what you want to do with your life. And you might not want to go to the gym. You might not want to have to join an exercise class because that could be the worst thing in the world. You'd rather do something social and fun. And if you're a little bit competitive, it's really handy that you've got that driving factor because if you're competitive as a kid, trust me, you're competitive as an adult. And that's going to be a motivating force. But once you kind of put together all the reasons why you want to do it, then it's simple. Within 21 days, then you've turned whatever it is that you want to do was, was motivation. You've got to be able to create a habit because then you no longer have to keep getting motivated all the time. And then all of a sudden, Saturdays are you days. I think one of the biggest and most important things we can't forget is how good it makes us feel. We start getting a bit of sweat up, having a bit of a laugh. We forget about anything going on, any of the noise going on in our life. It's so good for our physical and our mental health. So, you know, get out there and get into it. Don't be fearful. Who cares how you look? Nobody's judging you. You know, you're only judging yourself. So just get out there and, and just go for it.